As Daryl Miklos and his team make preparations to dive at Target 4. Let me show you guys something, all right? Captain Paco Montaner shares troubling news that threatens to end their nearly month-long search. According to new forecasts, a storm will make landfall in the Dominican Republic in just 48 hours. The team has now just two days left in their search. That last swell, that whole platform was six foot off the water, and then it went under the water one foot. So there's a seven foot swing, so be careful. got is massive. That's sensing the magnetic resonance of an object that is down there. It's just down there. It takes a long time to crisscross an area, multiple dives sometimes, to find out where that's coming from. I got something here now. 20 minutes into their search, Daryl and Steve get their first lucky break. We'll pull out something that looks like a tool, but it's not like any tool that I've ever seen. It looks old, so I want to get it topside so we can conserve it properly and examine it even more closely. In Monte Cristi, Garth calls naval historian Bob Sembrola. Hey, Bob, how you doing, man? Good, how about you? Good. Bob is the curator for the Naval War College Museum in Newport, Rhode Island, and he has been involved in numerous underwater archaeological projects. As the team waits for the weather to clear, Garth wants to learn more about the artifact found earlier today at Target 4. We're still down here in the Caribbean, you know, doing our thing. And I want to bring one thing in particular right now to you to see if you could help me out with it. You check this out. It's, uh, it's metal, obviously. It's steel. It's, it's got little quirky things all over it, right? And there's no markings on it? The one end has tabs on it, but it has these uh, ridges with grooves in it. Yeah. And then it looks like a key, honestly. It looks like a big, giant key, right? Yeah, this is probably from a tech gun. Anti-aircraft, probably. Equipment for the gun itself? One yes, of the quick yes. maintenance tools? Oh, yeah. It's, I would, it's pretty certain that came off of a U-boat. So how does something like this then end up in the water? I mean, uh, uh, you know, if it is an isolated find. Well, it could have fallen directly off the U-boat by accident or if he had to do an emergency dive. Yeah. Early in World War II, U-boats avoided Allied airplane attacks by performing what became known as a crash dive. The commander would ready the sub to dive in minutes to avoid the barrage of 50 caliber bullets from the aircraft. Could this multi-tool be further proof of a battle that could have taken place at Target 4? In a situation where they, you know, emergency dive, especially if somebody's coming in from an airplane to shoot you, you want to get your ass below, below deck, right? Yeah, and you're not going to worry about losing a wrench, that's for sure. <laughs> no, no, that'd be about the last thing, right? You're pretty sure this is then, you know, a, a gun tool? I think so. In and of itself, that's encouraging. The fact that this multi-tool was used on German deck guns is a big deal. These deck guns were standard air defense for U-boats during the war, especially towards the end of the war when the Allied air power had grown so formidable. We have the tool for the deck gun. Now we have to find the deck gun on the U-boat. Hey, Bob, I really appreciate your time. Oh, it's my pleasure. And if you want to talk again anytime. All right, thanks a lot, man. The next morning, the team returns to Target 4 for what is likely their last dive this season. Yeah, just hold that to you. Yeah. There you go. Yeah, we're good. Oh, it's okay. Good. Yeah, we're on. Beautiful. That tropical depression that Paco told us about will be on top of us in less than 24 hours. This is our last chance to find that large mag hit at Target 4. So we've got to stay focused. 
20 minutes into their search, the metal detector picks up a hit. team decides to search the perimeter of the mound to see if the detector picks up anything else unusual. Hey, look at this. This could be what the complex hit we were getting on the mound was. This mound is consistent with the size and shape you'd expect for a buried U-boat. The good news is we may have found our maggot. The bad news is getting to it will take an entirely different plan and one we don't have time for. With weather conditions rapidly deteriorating, Daryl checks in with Paco Topside. So, bud. How we looking, man? Not, not good. This, this is six to seven feet solid and rising. We got 23 mile an hour winds and also in the rise. So it's definitely going to go 8 to 10 feet very soon. We need to make our way to save port. This is going to get really ugly. Uh -huh. Look out. Watch it. Hey, whoa. Watch it. I mean, this is dangerous, man. This is the beginning of a system that's incoming in the next three days. It's going to develop to a hurricane right on top of us. OK. And I know you don't want to hear this, but I think your diving season is over. It's disappointing to come this close just to call it quits. But we have a big storm moving in and several more behind it, which means our expedition is over. As the crew pulls into the harbor, the storm begins to descend on Monte Cristi. Finally gotten into the dock. We're being evicted from the Caribbean from that right there. A hurricane will be here today, tomorrow, but we have to clear the boat, get everything off of it, get our gear in storage, and get the hell out of here. Let's go, guys. Let's pack it up. Let's go. Let's go. They quickly begin the process of packing up the boat for the season. It's bittersweet to come this far and to have to stop now. This is heavy. It's heavy. But I'm not giving up hope. Ever since my father and I started looking for these lost U-boats, this is the closest I have ever come to finding out where these U-boats went. That's it, boys. I'm satisfied that the clues we found are pointing to a bigger mystery unfolding here in Monte Cristi. As the team leaves the Dominican Republic, questions still remain. What mysteries lie buried beneath the mound at Target 4? And could it harbor the very treasure Daryl has pursued for decades? I think we may have found something here. And in a few months, when hurricane season passes, I'm coming back to find out what's under that mound at Target 4. I'm not stopping until I find what I'm looking for. <laughs>